Hey you guys, it's Sam and welcome back to the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2017 uh, hosted by myself, Crazy Comic Lady, and Barry Zem. Links to their channels in the description down below. And for this theme, it is the three color challenge. Now wait, wait, before you say anything, technically I used three colors. <laughs> the random generator strikes again and I got Wendy from Peter Pan and I just immediately knew what I wanted to do and I immediately wanted pink because like I told you, I'm on a pink craze at the moment. Everything's gotta be pink. And yeah, so I technically used three different colors of pink. I used R30 for the lightest, R43 for the midtone, and R14 for the darkest. And to get things as dark as possible, I did R43 and then I layered R14 over that, which is how I got the darkness of the sky. And yeah, so technically it's three different colors because it's three different shades of red. So excuse you, you can just walk on out of here. <laughs> I know it looks eerily similar to last year's one color scheme thing challenge, but shut up. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, <laughs> this was actually both a very nice and very stressful piece to work on. And um, if you want to see the sketching process as well as the sketching process for any of the Disney drawing challenges, as well as like a whole bunch of other tutorials, walkthroughs, resources, and a whole bunch of stuff, you can check out my Patreon page linked in the description down below. The support super helps me out and just really allows me to make future videos, tutorials, and just it lets me eat basically. So thank you guys if you're already a patron please consider uh, becoming one or just spreading the word if you can't and that's totally okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this was like, I tried to do a bit of a lineless look with the background and I think that's probably what was the most stressful. Not only that, but there's a building, okay? There's the Big Ben clock tower thing and that was just a pain. <laughs> I, it's not... It's not super great, but I'm still really happy with how it came out because like for what I could manage to like have the patience to do and be able to try and squeeze in with markers, it, I, I like it. So, you know, I'm happy with it. And three colors. That's another thing as I only had um, so much to work with. So certain decisions kind of had to be made of what would look like what. And I think I managed to find that balance right without having it like blend into the sky because that was another problem. I couldn't go too dark, but then like, so, you know, it's, it's the three color, three marker challenge. It's, it's both challenges in one. And I think, I don't know, I'm happy with it. I think it came out really nice. I also used up a crap ton of ink. So, um, I'm probably going to have to get some more refills soon. <laughs> and but yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with the, the tower. And then I was also worried by the time I got to Wendy, it's like, well, I already used the darkest darks for the sky, the mid-tones-ish for the clock. Like, what, how the crap am I supposed to color her and have her still stand out? I also used a, um, a red pen for the outline. Um, I tested a couple of things because I have a whole bunch of different pens, but the, the one I found that worked best was um, Sharpie pen. And so that's what I used and yeah, so that was kind of stressful a little bit, but I think it came out okay. I think she stands out just fine, and I think it just works pretty well. And of course, you guys have been doing a fantastic job. I have just been loving seeing all of your artworks, and i still speechless. You guys are still awesome, and if you would uh, like to have your work featured in one of my videos, just send me a message and let me know. Otherwise, I definitely recommend you guys just go to the various uh, social media and look up the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2017, especially on Instagram. That's still where it's most active, so you'll see the most artworks there. But um, just so much fun and I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys are having as much fun as I am, if not more. And, um, oh, I guess to also say I'm using computer paper in case anyone's curious. Uh, when in doubt, I'm most likely using computer paper when I'm doing traditional work if it's uh, marker 
graphite, that sort of stuff, inking. Um, but if it's watercolor, I'm using watercolor paper because you, you can't really use computer paper with watercolors. But I'm very cheap when it comes to my supplies. Don't judge me. I like how I've had people in the past be like, oh, but Sam, have you tried this paper? Or like, consider using this paper. And it's just like, y'all don't understand my passion for computer paper, all right? We just have like a whole stinking pile of it and it's just really cheap. <laughs> no, but for this, I, um, I folded a piece of computer paper in half and I used this half for this uh, challenge today. And then I used the other half of the paper for the theme, the next theme, which was the badassify a princess. <laughs> so yeah, okay. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that as well as the, the rest of the themes. And yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun so far. I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself in every single video because I don't know what to say for commentary. Well, here I am with uh, a white gel pen. Ooh, so exciting. I was trying to add like a bit of stars. I didn't want to push the highlights too much because I feel like it kind of still works just fine with the, um, the what color was it? I forget already. The R30 and plus the paper, the white of the paper. I guess is the quote unquote fourth color if you consider white a color, but it's kind of unavoidable. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think it worked kind of well and I didn't want to like take away from that because I'm trying to like avoid using the white gel pen too much. I don't know if you guys have noticed that in my artworks. I'm trying to use it a bit less just to, I don't know, play around, see how things work out in that sense. and experimenting and, and such and yeah okay there we go <laughs> hopefully you guys have enjoyed definitely check out all the links in the description down below to the playlist of this year and last year to Com crazy comic lady and barry zem and all of my social medias including my patreon and yeah thanks so much for watching guys bye